Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome back to the Hawk Muck Moto Vlog. So this video I'm going to title as Night Moves. So a little backstory. Right now we're on the way to the shop to drop the bike back off because yesterday, well today is May 1st, so yesterday I ended up uh, grabbing the bike and going down to Greenwich, Connecticut, which if you don't know and you're not familiar with it, is literally like the last town before New York in Connecticut on the uh, like I-95 corridor. So I rode the bike down, uh, it took me a little longer than I anticipated to get down, stayed a little later than I had anticipated as well, uh, just meeting up with a good friend of mine, I think he's probably my oldest friend now at this point, uh, we've been friends for like 27 years, we met in like kindergarten, but you know there. So I rode back last night, and uh, well there's two parts to this video, I think the first part is uh, gloves. So I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, I wear mechanics gloves. And I'm really kind of hoping that uh, you guys can drop down, maybe give me some uh, tips for some new gloves. Uh, my hands weren't super cold because I do have the hand guards on the bike, but I wish that they were a little bit warmer as well as, so I have a Walt Dyer jacket. Uh, I've had it for years and I have a pair of chaps to go with it. Well, when I went to put my chaps on last night, Dumbo me hasn't worn them in a while, a long while. And uh, they didn't fit. Like, I couldn't even zip up the damn thing. So I was like, oh, great. So I'm going to actually bring them back to the apartment and give them a try later on. Maybe it was a pair of pants I had on. Maybe I've gotten a little bigger. I don't know. Um, but they definitely would have helped. The tops of my legs by the time I got home were a little cold, but not horrible. But the other thing is lighting. So I have a, I don't know, Amazon headlight. It's like a Sunbeam Pro Beam. I don't know. It's not a Custom Dynamics Pro Beam. I know that. But, uh, I don't know. It was like 160 bucks, I think. And it did it did all right. Um, I also made really good time coming home. But I left down there at about 8 o'clock at night and got back to the apartment around 10.30. Left the bike there for the night. And uh, now I'm bringing it home today in the daylight just because I was a, a little chilly. I'll admit it. It was a little chilly. But... I've seen people add fog lights to their bikes. Now, I guess I'm kind of hoping some of you subscribers can, maybe some tips, some tricks, I don't know. I'm thinking about adding some fog lights. I know people run a lot at night with just their high beams on. I typically don't do that. I did have my high beams on for a bit last night, to be honest, just so I could see a little bit better. So, do me a favor. Drop down in the comments, uh, if you run fog lights, let me know what kind, how you like them, stuff like that. Uh, let me know how you guys, you know, tips and tricks you might have, a brand of gloves, a company, whatever. Just something a little bit better than the mechanics gloves that I do wear. Uh, I'm not opposed to buying two sets of gloves, by the way, like a, a spring or like a summer pair. And like a spring-fall pair, they're a little more insulated, a little warmer. Uh, I know a lot of people like the gauntlet glove. So the other thing, too, I do want to uh, mention is I, I, with the chaps, like I said, I'm going to try bringing them back. I don't know if I did something wrong last night or I've, I've gotten a little bit bigger. Um, if I had those on, I, I probably would have been fine. It would have been just my hands. And I will be completely honest, uh, last night when I was riding back, I was thinking, you know, I've ridden for many years now, how much I'd actually like to have heated grips for once. I think we might actually look into these. Um, just because I, I do actually have some nerve damage uh, in my neck that affects my hands where they do get numb sometimes and uh, heat does actually help them. So the other part of this as I'm going to wrap the video up here is it's May 1st. So it is, let's see what time the good old road glide clock. It's 3.15. So you guys have less than three hours uh, till we're doing the video giveaway uh, for the cup and the stickers. Can't wait to do that, guys. So please do me a favor. Like and subscribe. We, the channel has grown exponentially. We talked about it on one of our last videos. I'm super happy, super thankful for that to everybody, all our new subscribers. Like the videos. Come on, guys. I, I kind of feel like I'm whoring myself out a little bit, but guys, come on. It, it, it goes a long way. It makes a lot of us content creators feel good, like we're putting out something good. As well as hit the bell notification. It'll let you know whenever we drop a new video. And last but not least, do me a favor and drop down in the comments. Let me know about fog lights, about extra lights, about gloves, chaps, 
whatever you got, whatever the tips and tricks may be. So, everybody, until the next time, keep the rubber down and the shiny up, and I hope to talk to you guys real soon. Hey everybody, it's current or future Jeff as I'm sitting here editing and uploading the video. Uh, chaps, we just had operator error, if you will. Uh, try and get them on Saturday afternoon, evening, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I got them on at the shop in the apartment, no problem. It was just all on me. What I'd like down in the comments is gloves, uh, a spring and fall pair, and a summer pair. I don't mind buying two sets, guys. I just want something good for the hands, as well as if you guys rock rain gear. Let me know what you have down in the comments. Uh, we had mentioned heated grips. I don't think we're going to go that route as of right now. Maybe later on. But if you have heated grips, let me know. But the last thing I want to touch base on is I want to say thank you to everybody. We are now at 70 subscribers for the channel. Um, there's been a bunch of other pages that have given us a shout out between mail calls and everything else and helping us grow. So from Sasquatch himself, thank you.